right? Okay, so there's two and three, three and two. Is that all the ways? Is there any other way you can roll a five? Sum of a five on two dice. Nope. You either roll a three and a two, or you roll a what? Four and a one, or a one and a four. But how many ways can I do that then? Four. Everybody agree? So that is right. Okay. So who thinks they know the next one, Tommy? How many ways can I roll a six? Five. Five. Pattern says that should be five. Okay. Somebody besides Tommy. Who's sitting behind Tommy? Adam. Adam, tell me all the ways you can roll a six then. Two threes. Two threes. I'm going to just do all these in blue. Is that okay? Yeah. Everybody understands they're two dice, right? Two threes, then what? Two and four. Two and four. Four what? Four and two. Four and two. Again, the color doesn't matter. It's just you have to just remember they're independent dice. So there's two, four, four, two. What else? One and five. One, five. And five what? One. Five one. Is that all the ways? Yeah, there's no other way to roll a six. How many ways is that? One, two, three, four, five. There's five ways. How many ways do you think you can roll a seven? Six ways. Name them. I'm not going to list them. Just name them. Everybody shout them out. Three and four. Three, four, four, three. Okay, what other one? Five, two, two, five. What other one? Two. One, six, six, one. There's how many ways? Six ways. Everybody got it? Okay, how many ways do you think to do a 12? 11. Oh, I'm going to work this back. How many, do you think there's 11 ways to do a 12? Think about that. How many ways can you roll a 12? One. One way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, how come it's one way? <laughs> Yeah, you only have two dice. The only way to roll a 12 is what? 6-6, six, six, right? We should be playing yacht. Okay, so this is one, 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Everybody agree with that? And then I'll do a red one over here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so there's my 6-6, six, six, right? That's the only way I can roll a 12. I knew that would be a trick question. But it's not that tricky. How about 11? How many ways can you roll an 11? Think about it. Two. Five and six or six and how many ways? Two. Two, just two. Oh, I get it. Say that. Oh, I get it. No, I you don't. You get it? Okay. How many ways can you roll a ten, McAllister? Three. Three. What are they? Five and five. Five five. Six four four six. Yeah. There's only three ways. How many ways can I roll a nine? Four. How many ways can I roll an eight? Five. What if I added up all the numbers in this list? What do you think you're going to get? Add up all the numbers in that list. I knew that before you added them. There's 36 different rolls. Okay. What did I tell you before we even started? On two dice, you have six rolls on one times six rolls on the other. There's 36 combinations of rolls, right? 36 combinations of rolls. That creates a lot of percentages. What percent of the time, ah, this is where we can get tricky. Are you ready for this, Tommy? Probably not. Are you ready? No. Oh, man, that's not good. Okay, what do we got? We got one out of what? 36. Hmm, what percentage is that? You're going, to write, you're going to want to write this down on that paper because what does it ask you in that next question? What does it ask you in that next question? question. It says, what are the possible sums of two dice? That was easy. It was what? Yes. Two through what? Twelve. And then it says this. What's the probability of rolling a sum of seven on two dice as a fraction? So sum of seven on two dice as a fraction is six out of what? 36. 6 out of 36. What does that reduce to? 1 sixth. 1 sixth of the time. So what is the probability of ro rolling a sum of two dice, of 7 on 2 dice as a fraction as a decimal? How am I going to do the decimal? This is where you need your what? Calculator. Calculator. What is 1 sixth as a decimal? 
Well, what is it? Point one six six seven, right? Okay, and as a percent. Oh wait, as a decimal. Oh, as a batting average. What's the batting average? Point one six seven. Remember three decimals. And what percent would that be? Sixteen point seven percent of the time. I'm going to roll a 7. If I rolled the dice 100 times, how many times would I expect to see a 7? How many times would I get a sum of 7 if I rolled the dice 100 times? 16. What do you think? I rolled this dice 100 times. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas? Yeah. What do you think? How many times would I expect to see a 7 if I rolled these dice 100 times? Mm -hmm. Pretty close. 17. 16.1. 7. So around 16 or 17 times. So yes, he's exactly right. Somewhere around 16, 17 times. If I rolled it 10 times, I just want you to think. Okay? Uh, 10 times. Vanessa, how many times do you think I would roll a 7 if I rolled these dice 10 times? What's my percentage? 16.7%. So 10 times... Somewhere between one and what? Two times, probably closer to two times, I would expect this to be a seven, right? Everybody agree with that? In two times out of seven, or two times out of ten, I expect this to be seven. Take two dice. I'm trying to get two different cards, okay? Okay, you're gonna roll them. Okay, he's rolling. He got five, roll again. We're trying to count how many times he rolled seven. That was one try. Oh my, we'll, we'll still count this. He got 12. Okay, that's not seven. So he's got zero times out of two, right? There's his third try. Seven! Woo! He's Perhaps. got a seven. Okay, roll it again. Take him up. Ah, uh, he got nine. Okay, so so far he's rolled how many times? Four. Four. This is five. He got eight. Roll it again. He got five. How many times does he roll? This is seven rolls. He's got eight again. Okay, roll again. There's nine rolls. He got three. This is his tenth roll. He got six. How many times did he roll seven? Yeah. One time. Did I expect that? I expected one to two times. Most people it's twice, but keep those dice, okay? <laughs> All right, because we're going to roll these in a minute. Okay, now it says this. Let's break down the percentages into batting averages for all sums one through twelve. This is what we need to do here. This is why you need this in your notes. And you can either put it in your notes or on this pick, on this problem, but this problem is the key problem. Okay, I need, I need calculated people and I need to go quick. Okay, calculated people going quick. That row, I want you to do one divided by 36 and two divided by 36. That's that far row over there. This row right here, Brittany's row. I want you to do three divided by six and four divided by six. Write it down underneath it. This row right here, do 5 divided by 6 and 6 divided by 6. You guys don't have to do anything, how come? Because they already repeat, don't they? So once I know these, I know those. All right, what'd you get for 1 divided by 2? Somebody tell me. As a percentage, three decimals, as a percentage, 1 divided by 36. You guys can help out too on this side. 1 divided by 36, what'd you get? 0.028. As a percentage, 2.8. 2 point what? 8%. Eight. Eight okay, there's the percentage. 2 out of 36, what's your percent? What is it? 5 point, I think it's 7. Is it 5. 7 or 6? 6. 5.6. Is it 6? Okay. Yep. 5.6%. How about 3 out of 36? That's this row, Brittany's row. What'd you guys get for three out of 36? Deja, anybody? What's your point, percentage? 8.3. Two decimal places. 8.3%. 8.3%. Okay, so you just divide it, three divided by 36, which actually reduces to like one So you 12, divide it and then move the decimal. And then move the decimal the right. two places to the right. It's not that hard to do percentages. Okay? Four out of 36. Guy in the back. What's your guy in the back saying? Dylan. 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 What would what'd you get on 4 out of 36? 
I don't know. I didn't do it yet. You got a calculator? Yeah. Do it right now. What do you, what do your, what do your calculator say when you punch in four out of thirty-six? Point one one one. Point one one. So what should you do with that decimal? Do it twice. Twice to the right. So I actually get what percent? Eleven point one. Eleven point one percent. Is eleven point one rounded or not? That is rounded. It is rounded. Eleven point one percent. Okay. Five out of thirty-six. That's you guys. What'd you get, Sage? What'd you say? No, nope, that's not right. So you got to do 5 divided by 36. Chancey, what'd you get? I think you did 5 divided by 6, Sage. You 5 divided by 36. No, so I got, and then I move it two decimal places, I get 13 point what? 8 percent. 9? Okay, 13.9%. Everybody got that? And then how about 6? We did this one. This is 16.7 what? Percent. Percent. What's five going to be? Well, we just did it. We don't have to redo it. What is it? 13 point what? Nine percent. And four is? 11.1 percent. Three is? 8.3 percent. And two is 5.6 percent. And one is 2.8 percent. Okay. This is the key to the dice game, believe it or not. <laughs> Those percentages are the key, all right? Now, let's see. Let's break the dice game into percentages and batting averages for all sum 2 per tw through 20. We just did that. What would they be to the nearest tenth of a percent? We did that. We put them all as point something, right? As a tenth of a percent. Now the fun begins. Let's have the Braves play the game. So this is actually from yesterday. So this is the Braves lineup and the Yankees lineup as of yesterday. You'll notice Judge is not in the Yankees, Yankees lineup. Why not? He's injured. Okay? So Aaron Judge is not in the Yankees lineup. So each one of these is right. Now, so it says round off percents up to the nearest tenth of a decimal. Do home run, do home run dice roll first. Try to be within 1% of actual stats. Okay, and I want to put the actual out to the side based upon what we have. So, I did a Robert Cooney Jr. for you, okay? His batting average is 266. He had 79 at-bats and five home runs. So what's his home run percentage? How do I figure the home run percentage on Robert Cooney Jr.? This is important because you're going to have to do this on every player. How do I find home run percentage? Home runs divided by what? At bats, okay, A, Bs. So, Acuna Jr., I'm going to put 5 divided by what? 5 divided by 79. Do it on your calculator. And then change it to a percent. 5 divided by 79 is? 6.3. Okay? Now, non-home run percentage. How did I get that? I took the decimal of home run percentage, watch this, agree? That's the decimal of the home run percentage. And I subtracted the batting average, 266. So take the batting average minus the home run percentage. What do I get? 0 0.201, three. As a percent, 20.3% of the time. Everybody got that? This is the non-home run hit percentage. The home run hit percentage is 6.3%. Meaning, when Robert Cooney Jr. hits a home run, he's going to hit a home run what percent of the time when he's at bat? He's going to hit a home run 6%. Does the home run count as a hit? Yes or no? Yeah, home run's a hit, obviously. So... He's hitting a home run 6.3% of the time, and that counts towards his hit percentage. How many times is he getting a hit that isn't a home run? How many times is he getting a hit that isn't a home run? 20.3% of the time. Because his hits total is what? 266. You see what I mean? Or 26.6% of the time. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try the first batter for the Yankees lineup. 
as the decimal. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the first pattern of the language you learned. Everybody do this with me so that then you can do this on your own in a minute. Okay? So Yankees lineup. What is the home run percentage of LeMayhew? What's the home run percentage for LeMayhew? Four divided by what? What should I do to find the home run percentage? Four divided by 92. It's home runs, you might want to write this above it. It's home runs divided by what? At bats. What'd you get? Point zero four three. So how do I write that as a percentage? Four point what? Three percent. Four point three percent. That's Lemayhew's home run percentage. Now, what is his percentage of non-home run hits? What do I do? Take that point oh four three and subtract it from his batting average. What was his batting average? 0. 0.401. 2. So do that on your calculator. 0. 0.402 minus 0. 0.043. And again, the 0. 0.043 represents a home run percentage, right? So how many times is he getting a hit that isn't a home run? A lot. What is it? 0. 0.31. Let me do that on your calculator. 3.59. Or 35.1, of the time. Okay, everybody agree with that? Okay, so so far we've done those two. Everybody understand how to do home run percentage and non-home run percentage. Now we gotta assign dice values. So I like to have more values. When I'm rolling the dice, I wanna have more possibilities if I can. This is the hard part. So I wanna have more possibilities. I want to have, if I roll a 2 or an 11 on Robert Acuna Jr., I'm going to let that be a home run. I like to round up it as much as I can so that it's, the game has more home runs and more fun. So I'm going to say, all right, so Robert Acuna Jr., if he rolls a 2 or 11 when he's a bat, he's going to get a home run. What percent is that really? 2 or 11. It's 2.8 plus what? 5.6. Do that on your calculator. 2.8 plus 5.6. What'd you get? 8.4. So I had mine rounded wrong, probably. But I put 8.3, but it really should have been 8.1. 4% of the time, he's going to hit a home run. Okay, according to my rolls. According to my dice game. Okay, now I've got to try to assign some numbers. So that was pretty close to 6.3%. That's about as close as I can get. And I like to round up, because like I said, I, I want more home runs and more hits anyway. It makes it fun. So how many times does he get a hit? Well, he gets a hit if he rolls a 3 and an 8 is what I assign. How come I assign 3 and 8? How come I assign 3 and 8? And again, I like him in different spots on the roll. If, he rolls, if, he, if I roll a 3, what percent of the time will I roll a 3? 5.6. Right? I roll a 3, 5.6% of the time. And I said an 8. Why did I say an 8? 16.7. So take 16.7 plus 5.6. Oh, no, sorry. 13.9. I was off there. 13.9 plus 5.6. What'd you get? 13.9 plus 5.6. Anyone? 19.5% of the time. What did I, what should he get a high hit? 20.1. Three. I went a little lower on this one because what did I do on the home run? I went a little what? High. So it kind of balances out. So his hits, he'll get a hit if I roll a three or an eight. Okay? And that's 19.5% of the time. Do you get to pick whichever numbers you want as long as they add up to the right percentage? Yeah. Okay? Let's do the made you now. Okay, we've done the Mayhew's percentages. So home run wise, this is how I'm gonna assign it. Home run one home run wise, I want it to be about 4.3, but I like home run. So what role or combination of roles could LeMayhew have to get home runs? So what which of these is close to 4.3%? 
Which one of these is close to 4.3%? What do you think? 5.6. 5.6 is pretty close, right? There's a couple ways to get 5.6. I can say that LeMahieu gets a home run when he rolls a 2 or a what? 12, right? But then that takes away those values when I start adding to others. So I'm going to say, nah, I don't want it to be that. I'm going to let him get a home run only when he rolls an 11. Okay? I could also say he gets a home run only when he rolls a what? 3. Is it up to me to decide? Yeah, I don't care. I'm going to write, though, right next to LeMayhew, after I've written the home run percentage of 4.3%, and a non-home run percentage of 35.9%, I'm going to write the dice roll equivalent, you with me now? On the dice roll equivalent, I'm going to say, all right, LeMayhew gets a home run when he rolls an 11. Okay, LeMayhew gets a home run when he rolls 11, and that is 5.6% of the time. Is that a little more than he should have? Yeah, but that's okay because then I'll make it a little less when I do the what? When I do the actual hits. How many times should he get a hit? 35.9. Wow, that's a lot, right? So we gotta start adding up a lot, right? How about a five and, or sorry, a six and a seven? What would those